Paleoecology is the study of past environmental change. We look at why the environment changed in the past, what caused it to change. So this could mean looking at how vegetation changed in the past or how animal populations changed in the past or even how the environment, the, the physical environment changed in the past. And we try to understand what kind of things caused the changes to happen and when the changes took place. So we apply lots of different types of studies within paleoecology. It's a broad discipline. It draws on skills from the physical sciences, the biological sciences. Um, so people who are interested in looking at vegetation could use botanical skills or those interested in looking at animals could draw on zoological skills. Um, and we also apply paleoecological studies to the, the study of past human societies. So it's ver very relevant for understanding how civilizations grew and what caused civilizations to decline. We can use the environmental information to put archaeological information into context. It's also extremely relevant for understanding landscape change, so it ties in extremely well with, with geography. So one of the areas uh, of research that we do here at Queen's in paleoecology and that we teach our students about is the analysis of pollen grains. Pollen is produced by all sorts of plants. The pollen is distinctive to each plant, so every plant produces pollen that we can recognise by its shape, its form. Here, for example, is a birch pollen grain. Um, and this dates to the end of the last ice age. So we know that at the end of the last ice age, we had birch growing in Ireland. So we can extract pollen, ancient pollen, from places like lake sediments, bogs, um, and we can look at how the different types of pollen change through time. So by identifying when the vegetation changed and what way it was changing, we can start to ask questions about what was causing the environmental change. Was it climate? Was it humans? Was it changing animal populations? And by doing this, we start to understand the past and the, and the causes of environmental change, um, questions that are relevant to our understanding of current environmental change. So what we're seeing here on the screen are small fragments of volcanic glass known as tephra. Um, the tephra is, is produced by volcanic eruptions and very explosive volcanic eruptions throw the glass very high up into the atmosphere and then the atmospheric winds can transport it long distances. So we've been studying tephra at Queen's for 20 years uh, because these fragments of ash, they're microscopic, you can't see them, but they're blown across Ireland and they get rained out into our bogs, into our lakes. Uh, so this, for example, is, these are fragments of, of um, ash from the Hecla IV eruption dating to 4,500 years ago uh, that we find in Irish bogs across the north of Ireland. They're microscopic, so we can't see them with the naked eye, but we can extract them from the peat, put them onto a slide and look at them using a, ma a microscope that magnifies the, the, the images, and then we can analyse the chemistry of the glass to find out which eruption produced it.